My name is Honorable Finish Ete. I'm a former member of Parliament for Kita Mossad and current parliamentary candidate for Kita Mossad was August 29, 2020. The power of a woman. See, every woman is very powerful in their own way. Bringing woman and a man. The reason why the woman is more powerful is that one, remember, we gave birth to them. Number one, have to come into your mind. Number two, be the Christian that if you believe in Adam and Eve, they took the thing from Adam's ribs, not Adam's back. So the way they keep saying that every woman, uh, in a, every successful man, there's a woman behind. No, no, no. There's a woman beside. First of all, this has to make you powerful enough. Now, when you go to that constituency, women in politics, we are powerful because one, we know their problem in terms of we know hunger, we know every woman's name. I'm a woman. We know our challenges that you go through as a woman. But going through that challenges always gives us a very good start. Why? One, you live with your parents. Let's say you are 18 years or you are a teenager, you are a female. Anything that comes, you say, oh, she's a woman. She's a woman. But oftentimes, some of the girls think that when they say she's a woman, that means she's a woman, so she's not supposed to go to school. Or she's not supposed to be anywhere. No, 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 no. She's a woman because you are being protected by the family, by your parents. Now, when you have that thing in your mind, anywhere that you go as a female girl child, you stand tall, you are bold enough. By the time you reach 20s to 30s to my age, then you know that, no, every woman is powerful. Why? Because one, She's being protected growing up. Now you go to your constituency, my constituency. It's a settler's constituency. That means we have Muslims, we have Christians, and then we have traditional people. One, being a woman, they're trying to bring you down some of them because you have to bow to them. Go ahead. It's part of your training. Remember the way they were protecting you when you were young. Some of them to our teachers. Imagine teacher a female teacher going to class. She will identify a child, whether boy or girl. And no, this child hasn't been beaten. This is coming from a woman. Then we'll be like, are you okay? Do you have any talent at home? Do you have any problem? Then she can identify all those things. Me, I'm a woman and I'm strong. I was on gender committee and communication committee as well. And the gender committee, we're all pushing to make sure that affirmative action will pass. We are still working on it. But when we go to my constituency, I want to make sure by the end of my term, at least I have 30 women that have touched their life.